Nobody was prepared for it. The sargassum invasion took everyone on Mexico's Caribbean coast by surprise. It reached unprecedented levels in 2018, but this was just the beginning of an ever-growing problem. We really didn't have any previous experience dealing with sargassum, so in order to attend to the phenomenon, we needed to start experimenting with containment and removal. Over the past four months, 30 percent of coral colonies in Puerto Morelos have died due to the arrival of sargassum. Veronica Rivera, a marine biologist from Arco Group, is in charge of the cleanup operations. If a permanent solution isn't found shortly, she warns, there will be terrible consequences to pay. If we don't find a solution to stop sargassum seaweed, our beaches and coral reefs are going to disappear. The amazing Rivera Maya won't exist anymore. Private companies have created a system with barriers to catch the majority of the seaweed. In eight hours, they can extract over 200 tons of sargassum, which is piled into these cargo trucks and taken away. The ultimate solution to help combat the deposits of seaweed washing up on the Mexican beaches is the sargassum boat, which tries to prevent the plants from ever reaching shore. For international tourists like Luciano, coming to a beach full of algae is very disappointing. I thought it was sad because without the algae, I can tell that the beach is really, really nice. And so it's kind of a shame that there's so much algae. Sargassum blooms appear to be the result of global warming. But according to Professor Tronmin, there are only theories. We still don't know why. We know what happened. We don't know why that happened. One thing is certain. The arrival of sargassum on Mexico's Caribbean coast is one of the biggest and most persistent challenges this region has ever faced. Omar Vasquez, better known as Mr. Sargassum, fell in love with these algae since the first time he saw them on the sand six years ago, which is when he decided to leave California and fulfill his Mexican dream in the Caribbean. I knew the sargasso had something. I, I don't know, it was something that, that as soon as I felt it, then, I don't know, it was, it, was, it was something strange, but something that really changed my life. He created a formula with sargassum and organic materials and suddenly realized he could build blocks out of it. At first, it was a slow, painstaking process where they mixed the formula with their fit. But after a few months, he designed a new machine that could compress these blocks. He's working as hard as we work in the States, doing it in the same country and, and do something for, for the environment, for the people, for the planet. Omar and his team built this house made out of sargassum for the Gomez family who lost their property during a fire. Since then, clients such as hotel developments have contacted him. But Omar is not the only one turning the sargassum problem into a solution. In another creative turn, 18-year-old Victoria Morfin launched Sarganico, a brand of notebooks made out of sargassum paper. I realized I needed to mix cellulose to make the paper. One day, my mom and I went to the beach and saw the massive amount of sargassum, and I came up with the idea of using it in the paper-making process. It took us three months to figure out how to use it. Mexican entrepreneurs have found properties in sargassum from prime materials. In one such case, Jorge Castro, founder of Renovare, exported to the central Mexican state of Guanajuato for organic shoes. Where some see smelly waste, I see an opportunity. With this philosophy, I found at Renovare. If you have a plastic bottle, you transform it, then give it a second life, and this is where we started making shoes in the circular economy. As the sargassum crisis continues, these community projects have found at least one possible solution for it in recycling. From Quintana Roo, Mexico, Valeria León, U News. of years, Playa del Carmen in the state of Quintana Roo has shifted from a tropical paradise to a violent hive of criminal activity. 
However, only a few tourists like Shamila from the Dominican Republic start to get a sense of how dangerous this place has become. Ever since I told my mom I was coming, she's been sending me articles in the news like every single week of someone dying, someone getting kidnapped. But since I've been here, I haven't felt unsafe. Quintana Roo is the state that receives the highest number of international tourists in the country. To protect them, the government has created the app Guest Assist, which includes services for emergencies such as extortion and kidnapping. This month, the government announced its state police force will assume sole responsibility for all security in this town. In an exclusive interview with U News, Alberto Capella, the state security secretary, admitted they weren't prepared for the recent upsurge in violence. Fifth Avenue, which once was considered the most attractive street in Playa del Carmen, is now in decline. Local businesses have been struggling with low sales and security issues. As crime scenes spill onto Playa del Carmen streets, people are worried about the potential long term this could have on tourism, which is the town's main source of income. From Playa del Carmen, Quintana Roo, Mexico, Valeria Leon. Unius. Esta sí es una transición impecable. El Nissan Centra 2019. Más tecnología por menos precio. Maneja el Nissan Centra hoy. Compra en escogenissan.com. Esta sí es una transición impecable. El Nissan Sentra 2019. Más tecnología por menos precio. Maneja el Nissan Sentra hoy. Compra en escogenissan.com. Estas imágenes muestran el momento en que un grupo de migrantes indocumentados que ya se encuentra a pocos 